In today's video, I'm taking this super loud water box peninsula mini pump and I'm upgrading it. But the pump I want to put in is not going to fit all that well, so I've got to actually print out a few parts and make something custom to make sure it works. Stay tuned to check out how this thing turns out. Welcome back to IC Live. My name is Mark. For those that have been watching, you've seen this Waterbox Peninsula Mini already. As I set it up and then a few weeks ago I had to move it and this actually sits in my son's room. Now during that move I noted that the pump is super loud and it's been loud basically since the day I got it and it is so loud that I have to actually turn it off at night when my son goes to sleep. Now I'm gonna stop talking so you can hear how loud it is for yourself. And just a note, I did not turn up the audio on this to make it sound louder in any way. This is really just the standard audio that came right out of my iPhone. As you can already hear, this thing is so ridiculously loud. Now, fortunately my tank here is dirty. It has not had much love, so I am gonna actually be cleaning it today as well while I change out the pump but everything is doing great except for this one little zoanthid colony here on the right. I think it's a Rasta colony. I need to go ahead and give it a dip or something. I got a little cyanobacteria, a little bit of diatoms, uh, but the Hyger Wave Maker pump, that thing's doing great, although it's got a bunch of trash on it. Here's the pump. Oh man, so loud. Let's hear it again. Yeah, something's definitely wrong with that. Now here's how loud it is sitting down in my son's bed. All right, now just for reference, I'm gonna go ahead and shut the pump off with my phone. Wow, it is so much quieter. Let's go ahead and turn this thing back on so you can see the difference again. Okay, well that's it. I've had enough, I've heard enough. Let's go ahead and get this thing swapped out so let's talk about the changes i'm gonna make today this is my waterbox peninsula mini cad model this is where i've been making the upgrades and some of the 3d printed parts if you notice i've got the stand and then they've got the light arm for the ai prime i've also got a few other upgrades on here that we haven't gotten to yet like the skimmer but today i'm working on the pump chamber and what i'm going to be doing is putting in a j code DCS 12,000. It's a smaller DC controllable pump and I will show you that in a second. But this was some of the parts that I had to go ahead and design to make sure that this pump fits because it will only fit if it's sitting perfectly upright. This specific pump is actually very similar to the Mighty Jet, which people are much more familiar with. It's a, it's a more popular pump. It's also quite a bit more expensive. Um, and I do have a few of those, which I'm gonna put in some other tanks, so you'll see that in the future too. But first, I gotta get this pump installed, and to do so, I have to 3D print out and custom make some parts, which I already made, and I'm not gonna take you through the build montage because I did not record it. And having moved and printed these a long time ago, I also don't have videos of the prints. But, oh well. Here is the pump, the DCS1200 by Jcode it's one of the DC controllable pumps it is brand new all of the box is already open because I've been working on it so I measured it out and the only way that this pump is gonna fit if it's is if it fits upright so I had to make something for it to constantly be sitting upright so I made this little base filter piece with the Voronoi structure it just goes right over the inlet and then has this part that screws onto the inlet to hold it in place. I also made a top piece right here and we'll get to that one in a second. But before we get to that, let's talk about this outlet. So to have the outlet work properly, I wanted to make sure I didn't restrict flow. So I made it kind of circular, but it had to be really tight. It couldn't just be a standard 90 degree elbow that fit onto the pump. Otherwise it would hit the glass and not fit in properly. So designed a little custom piece here and you can see some of these pieces have discolor uh, coloration. That's just because I hit them with some acetone to help kind of make the parts more solid because it dissolves the ABS a little bit. 
into one single layer, but it also leaves a residue on there sometimes. And there it is right there. Now the last piece is this top part and the top part, this fits right over the top and it slides onto that little part in the back that usually has kind of a, a rear plate for the pump. And then it has this little piece that goes right over the outlet to help secure and hold in the tube when you put the silicone tube over the top. That's it. Enough of this pump, let's get to the install. So here is the tank and there's my little setup. I've got the water already. And then one of the things I like to do is I like to use this little 12 volt pump to shoot water back in the tank. Um, basically fill the tank back up um, way better than lifting a jug and pouring for anybody that does that. Uh, once I switch this, I have not gone back. Works extremely well. But let's go ahead and go. And uh, I'm gonna give this thing a little scrub down. But first I need to find my little helper. Okay, buddy, what's the plan? I'm hungry. You're hungry? What were you we gonna do? I'm hungry. Are you hungry? I thought we were gonna go help you we were gonna be daddy's helper with the fish tank. Um yes I am. Okay. But I need to eat. Okay, let's get a snack first. So after his snack he disappeared, so unfortunately I didn't get any help. Time to get back to the tank. I'm using one of the smart power strips on this thing so I can just turn the pump off with a button. Um eventually I'll make a video on how I set that thing up, but I highly recommend it. And once again, the frame rate on this GoPro is causing the LED light to go nuts because I do not have it set right. Oh well. So I just found a tack in the pump chamber and there's a pretty good chance that this is what was causing the noise, although I'm not 100% sure. And the pump had a guard on it, so it would have only been hitting the exterior of the pump and not like getting into the impeller, but oh well.
the tank is all done for the day and it's looking good besides the uh, the dirty sand I still have uh, one of those dinos probably a little bit of cyano like I said but uh, the pump is so much quieter now this is taken with the exact same iPhone as before so you can see the difference in the sound it is so good and now I have a controllable pump have this thing set to about 60% whatever that is so now I give the tank a few days to settle in and here's what it looks like everything is looking pretty good however I didn't clean the glass so it's still a little nasty the diatom issue is getting better slowly same thing with the cyanobacteria and uh, the clowns are crushing it this is Marlin and Nemo there's the tank looking great and sounding great I hope this pump lasts a long time unlike some of the reviews I've heard online if you'd like to get a hold of this model please shoot me a message and leave a comment and I will go ahead and send you the STL files um, I do not have this one available for purchase and print mainly because it's a more unique custom product and I have not fully tested it but if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you live in the next video.